Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Um, I know I haven't put out a video in what, about three weeks. You know, I got a whole bunch of stuff in the background, whole bunch of stuff planned. So stay tuned. There's more video to come. But um, in today's video, we're going to talk about clippers, screw tilt. So we'll get into it right after the intro. <laughs> So welcome. Now today we're going to talk about script, um, clipper screw tilt. Um, I think it's an awesome feature. Um, instead of using a knob to level your bed, if you have a probe like a BL Touch inductive probe, whatever other probe you use, um, even one of those clicky switch setup, you can use this, um, and it calculates the um the corners the screws so instead of you using the screws to adjust with the nozzle it uses a bl touch to calculate the difference in height of where the bed screws are so that way you can level out your bed um i think it's really really awesome to use that instead of the actual um knob because sometimes i've used the knobs in the past and while you can get it fairly accurate it, it, it's not quite as good as using the actual probe I find, at least in my opinion, um, from doing this. So, but let's get into it, how to set it up. If you already have clipper and an inductive probe or a BL touch and you wanna um, get it set up, let's, let's do it. So, you know, if you go on Clipper's website, um, it gives you a few information and, and I'll just, like I said in my, in my previous video, um, I'll just briefly go over it, maybe explain things a little bit better, um, the best way I know how, and that will give you an understanding of what we're doing today. So, uh, as you can see, you can do two ways. You can do a clipper uh, bed screw setup, and the bed screw setup essentially is you uh, uh, set some designated points on uh, the location of the four screws or three screws or six screws, depending on how much screws you better have. Um, you put that in the config and then when you, when you trigger the bed screw, it will just go around to each screw and you just move the, no um, the, um, the knob to adjust and use a little paper to adjust with an, using the nozzle, right? Just a typical uh, manual kind of level with the bed. In this case, screw tilt doesn't do that. Screw tilt, you also need to define the points of the screws however it uses the probe um, to calculate how um, the difference in, in in terms of height where the uh, screws are um, to try to level your bed as best as possible so in this case um what you're gonna do is um, for me i i use i prefer the three point bed mount so i converted my um my trunksy from a six point bed mount which was six knobs to a three point bed mount which i find is much much easier but i'm also using a nine millimeter thick nine millimeter thick sorry 6061 aluminum uh sheet uh plate so um it just makes it much easier to level the bed that way so um once you uh, pin, uh, in, uh, in order to get the points, I should say, in order to get the screw points, you have to manually move the tool head. So you manually move the tool head to where the screw points are and make sure you record that within the interface. So example, um, let me bring up my point here. So for example, these, this is the location my tool head is currently at, right? So as you can see in the video, where it's right in the center here. This is the, 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 where my tool head is currently at. So if I should move it, I can definitely move, you basically move the tool head manually to the first screw. So in this case, uh, Clipper recommends that you put the first screw as your rear left screw. So um, so if you move it back to the rear left screw, all you gotta do is record the location of that rear left screw and put it in your config. We'll get to that point, but let me uh, go back to the uh, information here. 
So once you record all the points, put it in a config, you run, you basically home, auto home your, your setup. Um, if you have any Z tilt adjusts, I recommend you run a Z tilt adjust um, before you do the um, the screw tilt because you don't want your bed to be all lean when you're trying to do the screw tilt. You might mess it all up. So I recommend you do a a bed tilt first, at least the, the get the bed square to the gantry as best as you can, and then go ahead and do the screw tilt. Now, um, with that being said. When it does a screw tip, it actually, Clipper actually tells you what the numbers mean. So CW mean um, clockwise, CCW mean counterclockwise, right? So clockwise this way, you know what I'm saying? If I'm looking at the clock, it's clockwise this way and counterclockwise the opposite way, right? So, um, and then it tells you in minutes, like essentially if you're thinking about a clock, it tells you in minutes. So this would be two minutes, right? So you go to two minutes mark. Um, this is how much how much rotation you got to make on the screw. So if it's two minutes, if you think about a clock, it'd be two minutes that, right? Just, you know, as best as you can, right? And then this is 50 minutes. So you're going almost a full rotation there. Um, and then this is an hour and 15 minutes. So a full rotation plus 15 minutes, right? So that's what you're essentially doing here. And so this is essentially you helping using a probe to help you level the bed as best as possible and i find that this works much better than actually doing the bed screws now there's nothing wrong like i said doing it an old school way in my opinion old school way of doing the bed screws but i find that using the technology like a probe to help you get a more of a uh, fine grain control of, of of leveling the bed i think it's it's it's, it's awesome in my opinion um but uh, so yeah, so once you get that all set up, essentially you can do a couple of things. You can set a maximum deviations. For example, um, let's say you did a bed level, a, a, um, a bed leveling, right? And then you put did a bed mesh. Okay, so you did a bed mesh, and you save that mesh. Now over time, you know, depends on if you're using a silicone uh, spring or just a regular spring you know, from heating and expanding of the bed, things can shift, right? So you can actually put a screw till calculate maximum deviation in your slicer, okay, in the star part of your slicer. So that way when it recalls the bed mesh, if things changes, let's say one of the screws are a little loose or, you know, part of the bed lift up, if it calls back for that original mesh and, it's, and the mesh is not within that zero point where it says here, uh, max deviation not within that 0 0.01, then it will alt the print, right? And give you a chance to actually adjust that screw and then restart the print again. However, I'm not using this at all. All I do is just do my Z, my regular home Z tilt. Um, um, I only run the bed screw one time just to know, cause I, I, you know, once I adjust the bed, I'm not gonna touch it again. I'm also using silicon springs, so, I don't have to worry about it changing shape or warping or anything over time. So, so far it's been running really, really well. So anyways, let me not get rambling and show you how to set it up. But I just wanted to go over this with you that it's pretty easy to set up. Um, um, you know, and this is just giving you more details. If you want to pause the video and read more over it, um, um, go ahead and do so. But let's get in how to set it up. So what you do is, let me get to my, my printer. So you will basically move the tool head where you need to go. So for example, if I wanted to move to the first point, I will go ahead and manually, let me go 10 millimeter. So as you can see, I can manually move the tool head, let me move it back. So that will be the first point, for example, right? So if this is the first point, I'm gonna record this, record this and go ahead and go in my, my printer config. And I'm go down to the call out for the screw tilt. So as you can see, this is the call out. I call it the call out, but you know, you know, in the world of coding and, 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 and script, I just call it a call out. It's just easy for me to, to know what it is. And then underneath that call out, this will be the first location, right? So the location that you just manually move your tool head to, you just put that here. This is your first screw. And remember, your first screw is the reference point, right? It's the, 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 the firmware is using the first screw as, uh, um, assumes the first screw is 
the the level screw okay and then it's going to use that that level screw calculation and calculate and see where the difference is on the next two screws so that way you can make that adjustment and try to flatten out the bed as best as possible so once you copy that you do the same thing you go to the second screw then you copy the location put it here as well then you go to the third screw which will be up front if you're running a three point um three point bed um if you're running a four point bed you do the same thing or if you're doing a six point bed the concept is the same and then you record it and put it in here then you're going to also make sure you put the, the the screw thread so the thread so whether it's an m3 m4 m5 make sure you put it there because it's important to help with the calculation and then um once you do that then you should be set okay so you're gonna hit the save button and close and then you know you do a firmware restart in this case i don't need to do that but to give you an example what it does what i what i do i'll go ahead and ohm hall first in this case i'm gonna go ahead and ohm it okay so once it's on, the first thing I'm gonna do is run a Z tilt, right? Like I said, you can't you can't do the bed screw without running a Z tilt because you don't know if your bed is this way, that way, you know what I'm saying? And you don't want to do a bed screw, uh, bed uh, screw tilt, um, and then then go ahead and try to do a Z tilt, right? You want to do the Z tilt because it makes sense to to get the bed bed as square as possible to the gantry then you can go ahead and adjust right so especially if you're gonna put the z tilt um and like uh the z tilt as a part of your slicer so every time you hit print you do a z tilt then a mesh and then it goes into printing right so you want to so it makes sense to do a z tilt first before you do a screw tilt now you don't need a screw tilt as a part of your slicer you just need to do the screw to just to get your bed leveled, right? That's all we're doing it for. So after that, I'm going to go ahead and do a Z-tilt. So it's going to go ahead and try to uh, uh, square itself to the tolerance that I set. Um, and my tolerance is z uh, 0 0.0025. Um, of course, I could, again, I could um, erase the tolerance and make it, make it, um, get to the get to the level point uh easily but um i like i like it you know i like the high tolerance so i just kind of stick with it um so as you can see i've already did a um a z tooth already so it kind of kept where it was and the two probe in and it already matched the tolerance i set now all i gotta do now is now i can do the the bed screw adjust right so i'm gonna go ahead and do the I mean, not bed screw adjust i'm sorry bed screw to calculate so what it's doing as you can see it's probing the the base point and then it goes ahead and probe the other points okay so based on that information here it's saying that my rear right is 18 minutes um counterclockwise so i need to turn it 18 minutes counterclockwise and then um, my front is also 19 minutes and needs to be adjusted counterclockwise. So basically my bed is out a bit, so I, I gotta go ahead and adjust. Now, that's how easy it is. So I can go ahead if I needed to and adjust all of that, but I'm not gonna do it right now because it doesn't make no sense right right now to do it. But, but this was just an example to show you how easy it is to adjust. So if I go ahead and make the adjustments, I'll come back here, run another bed screw tilt, and then see what it says, the new result says. If it says I need to adjust more, you just keep on adjusting until you get within 0.1 or 0.2. Usually 0.5 is good. I get it within, you know, within five minutes, essentially. Um, some people get it within six minutes, that's fine. If you can get all of them within six minutes, that's okay. If you can get it lower, all the better. Um, but like I said, it's pretty easy to set up. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, and like I said, I don't want the video to be too long. But yeah, screw tilt, this was screw tilt, easy to set up. Hopefully you guys uh, uh, get it and I wasn't going too fast for you guys. And hopefully I was able to explain that um, for you guys clearly. So, um, but yeah, this is the end of the video guys. Um, there's more content coming. Um, I have a surprise for you guys that I want to announce soon here um, on another printer bill. I won't say what it is. You guys probably gonna figure that um, I'm gonna build another printer. But um, that's going to be coming in another video. So, yeah. So, this is it, guys. You have a good one. And I'll see you in another video. Peace out.